Hi, I'm Manjit Kovrupa and I'm a narcissistic abuse recovery therapist. I'm going to get into trauma bonding in this video. Being with a narcissist is not love, it is an addiction. You literally fall in love with an illusion. It's like you're being put under a spell. They are a deception that makes you fall in love with them, but they can't love you back. Being with a narcissist is like a biochemical addiction. During the love bombing stage, the brain releases feel-good chemicals like dopamine that make you feel like you're on cloud nine. It's a high that you will feel like no other. So you get addicted to the feeling this way, so you want more of it. This is the narcissist hook. You then go into the reward punishment cycle addiction. You get addicted to the cycle of conflict and resolution, being rewarded by your abuser and punished. Your brain will betray you when you are with a narcissist. You will go through the hot and cold cycle of attention, followed by neglect and then extreme attention, followed by malice. This leads to a trauma bond where you become so confused and attached to your abuser with the extreme cycle of love and betrayal. While this is happening, your brain is pumping chemicals at a fast pace and will it will waver between pumping out oxytocin, the love and sexual chemical and cortisol, the stress hormone. The severe intensity of these chemicals pumping so fast is a cocktail that breeds a hurricane inside your brain and your heart. You feel on edge all the time, riddled with anxiety, it takes over your whole life. Fighting, then baking up, you literally get addicted to the feeling of everything is okay. Thank goodness we made up, it's a roller coaster of ups and downs. Such a relief when you resolve conflict in these kinds of relationships. Intermittent reinforcement. They give you crumbs of the feel good, but they don't always make you feel as good as the first time, that first high you felt. They keep you reeling on your heels to try even harder so that you can get the result you are looking for. You want that same hit and dose of the happy chemicals, but it is not constant. It's every once in a while. Keeps you hanging on to the illusion that maybe he or she will change and then they change for a moment and that reinforces the idea that maybe they've changed. To them it's a game. You are a fish on a hook at the end of a fishing pole. They reel you in and let you run. This is manipulated control. To recover from the addiction you must refrain from doing your drug. Your drug is your narcissist. This is why no contact is so important. It's a conscious effort to abstain. If you can't go no contact because of work or children, you must set firm unbendable boundaries and learn the grey rock method when responding. I've got a video on grey rock, so check it out. Trauma bonds are hard to break, but with effort, the right therapy and support, it can be done. If you would like to know more about what I do, visit my website. The details are below. You might also want to get a copy of my book, Survival Guide for Toxic Narcissistic Relationships on Amazon. Don't forget to like and share my video. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments. Thank you for watching.